So, to begin, get the biggest brush that you've got and use it on its side if it's quite a small brush. I'll demonstrate that in a minute. But get a big brush and get some quite watery paint on it and then just paint some big stripes across. You're planning to create six mini boxes, six little boxes on your piece of paper. I'm using a very pale red here, so now I'm adding some blue. And notice how I've done some stripes of very pale blue, which meet the red. So they're just meeting the red in the middle. Perhaps I should have drawn my boxes out in pencil so you could see exactly where I wanted my boxes to be, but hopefully you've got the idea that it's six boxes on this piece of paper. So each one's occupying roughly a sixth of this page. So I've done two boxes now and they've both got a combination of red stripes and pale blue stripes. And in the middle they meet, so the red and the blue are meeting each other. And that's, that's happening quite naturally, I'm just letting the brush marks overlap, the red brush marks and the blue brush marks overlap and they just kind of merge together. So now I'm using some red and I've gone much stronger this time. I thought this time let's try a really strong version of the colour. So remember you still want plenty of water on your brush but you also want to get like a really strong amount of pigment mixed up so that you get a nice vibrant one. This could be more of a sunset. Again I used two colours so I started with red and then at the top I painted yellow and then I let that yellow meet the red. Now I'm getting a darker purpley red and I'm just putting a little bit of, that, bit of that into the red at the bottom, just to make that red at the bottom less blocky, a bit more interesting. I'm going to use a smaller brush for this fourth box, just to demonstrate how you could use a small brush to cover quite a big surface easily if you don't happen to have a bigger brush. So this is what you should do if you don't have a bigger, a bigger brush yourself. Just get some paint on your brush and use the brush right on its side, not on its tip, but on its side. Pull the paint across. You can get a nice thick line, even with a tiny brush that way. I'm doing red at the top, just because I feel like it. And notice how it's getting a little bit waterier as I go down. And that's just playing around. So you can see maybe your brush strokes are going to get waterier, maybe they're going to get thicker and stronger. doesn't matter. Just all, all I'm really asking you to do here is put paint on paper and make sure the paint is pretty fluid and wet. You don't want really dry, sticky paint and you put up to three colours on each box that you're doing and let each colour merge into the other colour a bit. What I'm doing there is just using my bit of tissue paper to blot a bit that I think is especially wet and what that will do is take the paint off. See that when you do it on a strong colour like that it's quite dramatic and that again could be like a moon or a sun in the sky. Make sure your paper is clean, don't re-blot with a dirty bit of paper. If you want a really round perfect shape, wrap a penny or something round inside the tissue and then press and apply. 